Hi, it's Dr. Joe. I wanted to do a quick video on how to start up a strength training program. It's a conversation I have with a lot of people over the course of, of the week. Sometimes people will ask me about, about that topic that maybe they used to work out years ago and they haven't worked out in a long time. Sometimes it's people that are absolute beginners will come up to me and ask, you know, how do I start up a strength training program? And I love having the conversation because I get excited to think that people are interested in doing strength training because I know how important it is, especially for people that are over the age of 50. It's just, it's incredibly important. There's so many benefits to doing strength training as we get older. Research shows that if you want to maintain bone density or increase bone density, strength training is the answer. Also, there's a condition known as sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is the wasting away of muscle tissue if you don't exercise, and, and, and it happens mostly after the age of 50. How do you offset sarcopenia? You do strength training. Also, muscle is very metabolic. So if you want to keep body weight, your body weight down, or if you want to lose weight, you, it's, it's very, very helpful to do some strength training and build up some muscle. It helps you, having more muscle helps you burn more calories during the course of the day. So many benefits to doing strength training. So I wanna give you some tips on how to start up a strength training program today. Now I should mention, there's a lot of different ways to do strength training programs. And, and I think one of the hindrances why people get you know, put off by doing it is they, they, you use the word strength training and what the vision that goes into people's head is like Arnold Schwarzenegger and pump and I and pressing and moving all this heavy you know, weights and stuff. And it's not that at all. I mean, it is if you wanna be a bodybuilder, don't get me wrong, and that's great. But strength training is just about exercising the muscles you know it's just about activating muscles and it doesn't matter how you 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 go about getting resistance you can use your body weight for resistance like doing push-ups sit-ups pull-ups you can do exercise bands and, and and use that exercise bands as resistance you can you can go to the gym you can use you can use free weights you can use exercise machines it's all great and you don't have to be lifting heavy, heavy weights. You know, uh, it's just about moving some weight around, exercising those muscles, contracting them, and 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 maintaining the muscle that we have. And and even if you want, you can build a little bit of muscle. Okay, so that's what strength training is really about, and it's so important to do. So let me go over some tips with you, as far as how to go about setting up a strength training program so that you're going to have success. And that gets me into tip number one. Tip number one is don't go too too much game busters like right off the right out of the gate. You know that's a big big mistake that people make is they haven't been doing any exercise. Maybe they've never done any resistance type of exercise, no strength training at all, and they talk to me about what they just started and they're going to the gym five or even six days a week right out right away right out of the gate. That in my experience and I've been doing this a long long time. That I, I don't think I've ever met anyone that's had success doing it that way. People that haven't been doing any strength training exercise, when you go into that gym for five hours a day, I mean, uh, five days a week, six days a week, you either end up getting injured, you get so sore that you don't want to go back, your joints start to ache, so you don't want to go back, you, the people end up overdoing it. It's it's a it's like it's like people that try to like decide they want to lose weight, and all of a sudden they go from eating awful to just some crazy diet. You know, they just start cutting everything out of their diet. They do a fad diet. They do some crazy, and you know maybe you get some temporary benefit from it, but no one maintains that that diet because it's too crazy. It's too much of a change too quickly, and it's the same thing with strength training. If you go from doing nothing to five, six days a week going into the gym for an hour, an hour and a half, it doesn't work. It, 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 I've never known anyone that's had success doing that. So let me kind of takes me in this kind of tip number two. Let me explain to you what I would recommend. And this is a system that I've given people and it works. You haven't been exercising. I mean, you have, and when I say exercise, you know, if you've been walking, that's cardio, you know, running, biking, I'm talking strength training. So you haven't been doing any strength training. Here's the, the system I would start with. You go in two days a week, that's it. And you know how long you go in for? 20 minutes at a time. Now here's the benefit of doing that. One, you start waking up the muscles a little bit. You're only going in twice a week and you're only working out for 20 minutes. Now, 20 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but you can get a lot done in 20 minutes, especially if you leave your cell phone at home 
and you decide that you're not going to chit chat with everybody when you go work out. Or maybe you're going to work out at home, which is sometimes even better for beginners because there's no disturbances. You know, you work out at home, it's nice and quiet and, and no one's going to disturb you. So there's a big benefit to working out at home too. You don't have to go to a gym. Two, two workouts a week for 20 minutes, that's only 40 minutes a week. And that's one of the best benefits of that is that during the course of your seven days, you only need to make time for 40 minutes, two 20 minute workouts. So the excuse level goes way down. You know, there's really, I mean, everyone's, you know, can usually find two days a week that they can go in for 20 minutes at a time or work out for 20 minutes at a time. Like I said, if you're doing it at home, you don't even have to waste time driving back and forth to the gym. You just exercise at home. So that's how I have people start off. Now, if you're gonna start off with just two workouts a week, 20 minutes at a time, my recommendation to people is you do a full body workout for each of those days. Maybe spread the workouts, put like three days in between, and you do a full body workout, which means you work all the major muscle groups, chest, back, shoulders, arms, and legs, and you do that on workout, on the first workout, and then you rest, you give your body like three days or so to rest, and then you work out again, you do another full body workout. I find that works best for, for people as far as if you're only gonna go in twice a week for 20 minutes. Now, also by doing that, you know, you, you're gonna be waking up these muscles and you're probably gonna have a little muscle soreness even though you're not working out very long, but that's okay because it's gonna be pretty mild muscle soreness because you're not doing a whole, um, any, any tremendous amount of, of, of work. Keep the resistance pretty easy, keep the repetitions high, we're not, we're not looking to, 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 to you know, do sets of six or four or eight. I would keep the reps all around the 15 rep range. Whatever exercise you're doing, keep a resistance that you can get at least 15 repetitions. So because of that, a little bit lighter resistance, higher reps, short workout periods, you'll have a little muscle soreness, but you know what? You're probably not gonna have joint aches and you're gonna be okay, and, you'll, and when you wait three days to your next workout, you're gonna probably, your body will recover before the next workout. Now, I would maintain that schedule for the next, say, three weeks. So I like to do about three week intervals. And after about three weeks, now, I would add on five minutes to each of those workouts. So now you're gonna do two workouts a week for 25 minutes a piece. Now, if you only want to, if you if you're happy with two days a week and 20 minutes at a set at a time, that's absolutely fine. I don't want to encourage, you know, I don't want to make everyone feel like you have to turn this into some elaborate strength training program. I mean, if everyone in this world went out and exercised twice a week for 20 minutes at a time, most people that do what I do, you know, therapy type of uh, businesses, we'd all be out of business because I'm telling you right now, you know. 85% of people that come in to see me are very inactive and a lot of their musculoskeletal problems are from that inactivity. So if you wanna just stay at two days a week for 20 minutes at a time, I, I think that's awesome and that's all you need to do. If you wanna build up a little bit, here's how I would do it. You add in five minutes to each workout every three weeks. Do that over a series of weeks until you get to about 40 minutes. 35 to 40, I would say go 40. So now you're doing two pretty good workouts. You're doing twice a week and you're doing a full body workout that, take, that takes you about 40 minutes. At that point, you can make the decision to add an extra day. If you wanna add an extra day, try to spread out those three workouts throughout the seven days. And at that point, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing full body workouts anymore. I would now split my workouts into a what we call a push workout, a pull workout, and a leg workout. So now you're doing three workouts a piece. Now, when we go from two workouts of 40 minutes, when we go to three days a week, I would cut back now again to 30 minute workouts. So now you're gonna do three workouts a week and each workout is 30 minutes long. Push workout is what, what it sounds like, all the pushing muscles, your chest muscles, your shoulder muscles, and your tricep muscles. These are muscles that push. Pull day, what are you gonna do on pull day? Those are the muscles that pull, your back, your biceps. And then of course, the, the third workout would be your lower body, your legs, your quadriceps, your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves. Three workouts, 30 minutes at a, at a time. Once again, every three weeks, and it's up to you how much you wanna get into this, every three weeks, add five minutes to maybe you're doing three days a week 
for 40 minutes. And then you can go from there. And I don't need to get into that from here because that gets into more advanced training and we don't need to go into that today. Uh, that's a, a video for another day. But that, if you're doing three good sessions a week and you're training 40 minutes, you're going to feel, I can't tell you, I mean, you're going to feel great no matter what you decide to do for a strength training schedule. Don't get me wrong, you're going to feel great. But three days a week is, a, is an awesome schedule. You're going to feel so much better. You're going to avoid injuries. You're going to just, every, everything's going to be so much better in your life. You're going to just have so much more energy. You're going to feel like you can do more. You can, you know, play with the grandkids, play with your kids to, you know, go, just go for a hike certain day. I mean, you're just going to feel great. So anyways, that's my advice. That, that schedule, that program works. It, it, it's, a, it's a gradual program. Sometimes people get frustrated. They think that I'm not having them move along quick enough. Trust me though on this, it works. It's just be patient, go with the, you know, go with the flow of it all. It's gonna, you're gonna notice benefits. You're gonna be noticing slowly but surely, you're gonna be able to use more resistance. You're gonna be increasing your strength and, 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 it, and it works. So anyways, I hope, that, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions or, or concerns, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you if you have any questions about what I just went over today. So if you also, if you haven't visited my website, go to www.okramedhealth.com. I have a full line of fascia release products in there. If you do have any aches and pains, I have everything that you need. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Okra Med Health on YouTube, I'd greatly appreciate if you do that. And don't forget, Okra Med Health is here to keep you fit forever.